Welcome then one and all to another episode of Not Too Grand, episode two of the ongoing restoration, rejuvenation project thing to do with the ZX 2 litre 8 valve Volcan. In the last video, gave the car a service, gave it a bit of an inspection, made sure nothing was falling off it, made sure it wasn't going to set on fire, um, seemed to have cured the issue with the alarm, it's not going off at the moment. And that's about it. I don't really want to spend too much time or money on it until it's more of a known quantity. Um, it could potentially just be money down the pan. So now, in a moment, it's going for its MOT. Its first MOT in about five years. I've had a look around the car. The tyres look okay. They're not brilliant, but they're not illegal. Uh, all the lights work. The brakes seem to stop the car. Um, as I say, I've serviced it, so that should help with the emission side of things. So now we've just got to wheel it off and see how it does hopefully it'll come back and it won't be too bad um, and it will still be a viable project or it will fail spectacularly and I will put it in a bin but if I do put it in a bin then you won't be watching this because there won't be any more videos huh. so anyway MOT which for me is going to be a tense couple of hours as I constantly refresh the DVLA page for you it's gonna happen in like a second the joys of YouTube. See you in a bit. Well, we're back. It's uh, it's come back from its MLT now, which was a it was a see how bad it is. MOT. It was a this car's been sat in a lockup garage, not knowing, not not doing anything. So I don't know what work it needs. I've done the service on it because I knew it would need that for emissions. I thought I'll give it at least a fighting chance with that, and that's just an oil filter and some oil, and you know it's a couple of quid. It's not the end of the world. But I didn't want to spend any more money on it until I knew how bad it was. So stick it in for an MOT. And then that would give us the next video, which would in turn give us content of what we need to do to make it work and make it road legal. And then it passed its MOT. So it's legal now. I've insured it. I've taxed it. 12 months test on it now. Now what do I do? There was meant to be a whole load of work to do to it. Content is hard. I'll think of something. It still needs work, it's still not perfect. Obviously it needs paint, so that's something we'll do at some point. And while it did pass its MOT, it wasn't a clean MOT. The front drop links are on their way out, and one uh, lower ball joint is a bit questionable. So I bought two no I bought two new lower ball joints, I bought the drop links. Um, I've fitted the Kenwood mask stereo to it because obviously that was a priority and a phone holder because again that was a priority um, we've got new brakes on the way uh, we're going to put new tyres on it because these are very old but yeah it's not the disaster I thought it would be the, the MOT tester even exclaimed that it was really good underneath you know surface rust from sitting but a solid decent little car which makes sense. I had all the paperwork arrive for it the other day, and it's been looked after. It's got full service history, original um, original handbooks, all the paperwork, original bills of sale. Um, it's never wanted for anything. It's been looked after. So yeah, I've got some parts in order, and we'll fit them, and that will be another video. But for now, we should drive it. See what it's like. I've not actually driven it yet. I only taxed it this morning, so uh, let's do that. Let's uh, let's see what the people make of it when I drive past in quite a hoity-toity bit of Bristol with my car with hand-painted flames on it. Exciting. Got to put the code in. Right, off we go. So here we go then, first time out in the Citroen, first time I've driven it. 
so far so good it's pleasant there's no bumps or rattles drives very nice so what is the car you'll probably want to know that um it is as i mentioned in a previous video it's a zx volcan which is the gti of the citroen zx range it's um it's powered by a two liter eight valve engine um same engine family that you'll find in Peugeot like 405s and what have you um, so yeah quite a quite a common engine this one's done 98,873 miles there's a cyclist in front of me who's wearing a lot of pink just got to get around this cyclist but yeah gear change is good steering feels positive drives really nicely. Like I say, this is the first time I've driven this car. I can see me, uh, I can see me falling in love with this a little bit. People do look at you though, when you're driving a car with flames that have been hand painted on it. You do, um, you do get their attention. But it's legal, it's taxed, it's MOT, just to put it on the road, it's fine. I'm not doing anything naughty. It's nice. I really like it. People tell me that these things drive wonderfully, and especially when you when you're pressing on in them a little bit, they're um, they're supposed to be really, really nice to drive and really good chassis under them. But we're a little while off that yet. It needs, you know, it needs new brakes and tyres. The the stuff that's on it is legal, um, but it's not in the best condition. That clutch is going to take some getting used to. That's heavier than anything else I own. It's peppy. I like it. Can't go far. It's got no fuel in it. So it's, it's running largely on optimism at the moment. Not bad though, eh? For a car that was in a garage for four years doing nothing. It's quite remarkable, really. It's proof. Not that... Not that proof is needed, but it's proof that, you know, unless it's absolutely dissolved into nothingness, or unless it's been wrapped around a tree, old cars can keep going. And this is at the start of its journey. I've just pulled it out of a garage, stuck it in front of MLT, I've done a service on it, stuck it in front of MLT, and here we are, enjoying full legality. And this car costs me now with the insurance and with the tax, this car cost me £50 a month. And it's different and it's rare. It's not particularly valuable, but it's it's rare, it's interesting. I get the satisfaction of working on it myself. This is why old cars are good. This is why, you know, the cheaper stuff's brilliant. I can do all the work to this and then when I get bored of it, I can get something else. Or I can keep this. I can see me keeping it. I quite like it. I find it quite remarkable that I'm just driving it around now. You know, and this this is your worst case scenario. This is your car that was this is your car that was in, left in a garage, forgotten. You know, there are cheap cars out there that have got full service history and everything, and, and you know, you could have something on finance. I'm nothing. I'm nothing against finance. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But I just don't see the point in it. There's so many cars out there already that work and run and drive and ready to be used but I'm going off on a tangent now back to the back to the Citroen I'm quite taken by it it's lovely steering's nice and crisp brakes while old are good it really is rather excellent it's like a faster road now cool what a thing what a thing for free. Well, I say free, what does it owe me at the minute? Some service parts. It cost me 200 quid to get it here from Potter's Bar, which is where it was. It, it owes me all in about 400 quid at the moment. But you wouldn't find another. Like, legitimately, you wouldn't find another. There isn't another to find.
stop to get some funky drone shots but it's too windy for my funky drone so you'll have to make do with uh, old footage from other videos and crudely shaky hand cam from just now anyway production values aside oh, oh we're coughing we might have run out of fuel I think we've run out of fuel that's embarrassing come on little car that's run out of fuel come on we could get home No, I don't think we can. No, we've run out of fuel there. Awkward. <laughs> we found some extra fuel. We're moving again, we're moving again. This is gonna be hella awkward if I can't make it into the car park. Come on, little car. Assume it's running out of fuel. Let's blame it on fuel. Um, that was exciting. So yeah, 12 months MLT, taxed, insured, on the road. Seems to drive quite well, which is a relief. No clunks, no bangs, nothing hanging off it, no smoke, needs more fuel. Um, which I will address in due course. So what we're going to do to it next? Well, there's obviously the bodywork. Um, I've cleaned some bits of it and there's a, there's a presentable car under there that wants to get out, I think. Um, or at least I hope. Definitely the lower half. The upper half, I know the roof's knackered. I know the boot lid's knackered. So paint will be needed. But that's not what's happening first. That will be the last thing we do, in fact. So next, it's brakes. So we'll put some new brakes on it. Uh, new pads, new discs all around. Check the flexes, I believe they're okay, but check them. Give it a clean up under there. Paint the calipers up. Get all the gunk out of it. Just make it look a bit nicer. Uh, throw some new tires on it. So some better rubber. I've been told by various people that have owned these cars in the past that tires matter. I mean, tires, tires matter in general, but on this, they matter i believe it has sort of passive rear wheel steering and they can be quite twitchy um and if you put crap tires on them you're gonna end up in a ditch backwards on fire upside down i don't want to do that so tires uh well water pump water pump time your valves i think that's about it oh drop links and um, ball joints obviously and temperature senders because the temperature gauge has a mind of its own it just goes up and up and up and up and up but you put a um, infrared thermometer on the engine or on the pipes and the engine's like no I'm not hot I'm cold well not cold but I'm not boiling is that French yeah. so yeah that's the plan bust out the spanners we've got a workshop to do that in so we'll uh we'll bust out some spanners we'll get it on a ramp we'll get it dialed in mechanically as a child we'll get it dialed in mechanically um and then we will make it look pretty and then hopefully the world will be a bit more back to normal when we can do some sort of big road trip with it that would be nice really get some miles under it get on some twisties and give it a dab of oppo <laughs> 